Get the tools you need to become a free and independent trainer with my Dumbbells of Dollars course at www.dumbbells2dollars.com. How are you doing everybody? Jonathan here and in this video and in about seven minutes or less your original fit boss is going to go over some recent news that has shaken up the fitness industry and that is that gold's gym one of the largest big box gyms in the united states has filed for bankruptcy amid this covid 19 shelter in place business closure scenario and i want to go over how that's going to affect you in the short term in the long term and how it might be affecting other gyms all right now let me start off by saying that i do not wish failure on any gym, all right? And this is despite the fact that I don't necessarily agree with the big box gym model. I don't think that it helps trainers to see massive success. I see it as, sure, getting your foot in the door, but they take so much money from you in terms of what you're worth, where they can take upwards of 70% of what they're charging their clients, all right? And they can only give you 30%. For what? So that you can train in their space. So essentially, a gym could be charging $100 per session for a client, but only paying you $30 per session. They're making $70 off of your hard work, and that's why I have never advised that trainers stay in gyms long-term, try to make that their lifelong thing. If they're just using that for side money, that's fine, but if you're looking to create a life in fitness, I think that your best option is going to be to make your own rules, which is why I've started this Fit Boss movement, so that you guys understand how to make your own business, charge your own rates, make your own money, all that good stuff. You have to understand that this closure is going to create a lot of opportunities because now maybe hundreds of thousands of gym members are displaced. And right now they don't have a chance to go to another gym and sign up. So what should you be doing if you worked at Gold's Gym? All right, you should be contacting all of your personal training clients. All right, one of the main reasons why uh, Gold's Gym, I think, closed is because they weren't able to create another revenue stream because big brands, Gold's Gym itself, does not have an emotional connection with the clients. You, however, the trainer or the Group X instructor had that one-on-one -on -one interaction with the client. So if you've been doing your due diligence and then adding them on Facebook, adding them on Instagram, staying in contact, getting their information, then you should be reaching out to them before they go over to another gym when gyms reopen and then all of a sudden you're out a client. But if you reach out to them now, you can offer them many different types of training structures online, such as online one-on-one, -on -one, online virtual, group virtual, or group virtual replay. And I teach how to do all four with my Dumbbells to Dollars online training course. So if you have not checked out my Dumbbells to Dollars course, I guarantee you it's probably the number one resource that any trainer could invest in right now, more so than a certification. Nothing else would prepare you better for where we are right now in this industry than that course. So if you have not gotten that, you gotta go to www.dumbbells2dollars.com and I guarantee you it's gonna make you a bunch of money. So one of the main reasons why trainers are scared to go off on their own is because there was always an existing non-compete clause where you didn't want to compete with a gym within 50 miles six months after you leave but now specifically with the gold's gym trainers since the gym is closed all that is gone so it's free range everybody in that area that was part of that gym and there are a lot of them you can reach out to them you can start to offer your own virtual training and moreover you can make more money while at the same time saving them money. So like I said before, if the gym was charging them $100 per hour and only paying you 30, you could say, hey, listen, uh, the gym was charging you $100 per hour. I'll train you for only $60 an hour. All right. So they're saving 40% and you are doubling the amount that you can make. But this is only going to work if you actually do it, if you actually reach out to these clients. And guess what? Gold's Gym was the first but they may not be the last. A couple of weeks ago, I saw an article on how 24-hour fitness is actually struggling. Their, their business structure was struggling before trying to compete with the mid-level gyms, you know, not quite the Planet Fitness and not quite the Equinox, that, that tweener-type gym. Um, they were struggling. So there may be a lot more closures coming around, and that creates a great opportunity for you to actually make a business for yourself, which is the ultimate goal. I think that 
trainers that have their own personal training business, uh, it might be a little bit slow, but I don't think they're going to fail and there's going to be a huge rebound. I think people that own their own boot camps, as long as you don't have a huge overhead, it might be a little bit slow now, but there's going to be a huge rebound. So you want to make sure that you are in the right position and that you look at the bright side of things because on the other side of this you know, pandemic can be a lot of opportunities. And I want to make sure that you are in the best position with the best knowledge. Now, none of these certifications teach this, and I've been saying it for years, there is nothing in the NASM certification that has prepared you for this or can prepare you for this, but I have a lot of Dumbbell Dollar students that have been able to save a lot of their business, get a lot of new business, and open up a new revenue stream just with the online training structure, and I want to teach it to you. So if you've not yet gotten the Dumbbell Dollars course, go to www.dumbbellsdollars.com, and I guarantee you it's going to be the best investment that you've made as a fitness professional in your life. All right, well, that's about it. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below because your questions and comments are what fuel this channel. But I'm gonna be back next week as I have a lot more information to give you guys to help you navigate your way through this COVID situation. Just stay tuned. And in the meantime, as always, remember to eat healthy, hydrate, drive safe. Stress levels, don't get rest, don't stop anybody. Love your clients, say I love you back. I'll see y'all tomorrow or the next day and you have a good one.